Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I had the day off today, and so I read a play with my girlfriend, and we read a Spanish play by Federico Garcia Lorca. Uh, this is the edition that I got, and uh, we read Donna Rosita the Spinster, and she described the play uh, as poetry and theater combined, uh, which I thought was a beautiful way of describing this play. And this is the full title. It's Donna Rosita the Spinster or the Language of Flowers. And then a subtext, a subtitle. A poem of Granada at the turn of the century divided into various gardens with scenes containing singing and dancing. And it was a beautiful play. It is a doomed romance and a domestic drama. And uh, the, the structure of the play is quite um, a classical or traditional. We have a, uh, a young girl that's in love with her nephew, and her nephew uh, need, has family obligations and needs to go away from Spain and travel to Argentina to uh, take the mantle of his uh, father's farm and work the farm, and um, they uh, agree, they, they, uh, Rosita and uh, her lover agree to make a promise um, uh, to love each other forever and, and uh, to part temporarily, uh, only to come back and uh, get married and have a life together. All of this is set in this uh, household, so uh, Rosita is living with her uh, aunt and uncle, and, and there's a housekeeper, and there's this um, fabulous chemistry uh, with all of the family members. We, I, I think straight away, you get such a sense that all of these characters have been living together for a very long time. It's my favorite aspect of the play. It, it, it begins, act one, the uncle, where are my seeds? The housekeeper, they were there. The uncle, where well, they're not there now. <laughs> and I could just imagine my parents, my, my dad saying, uh, where's the remote? And my mother saying, well, it's where you left it. And my dad saying, well, it's not there now. Somebody must have moved it. <laughs> and so there's this um, um, very loving uh, bickering between these characters and the, the, the housekeeper, who is a, a riot uh, throughout the play, um, very, very much is a, a part of the family. It's um, someone that um, has a certain um, station in life, not a, not a blood relation, um, is, is employed in this household, but has been there for so long, has just become a part of the household. Uh, there, there was a moment where um, the aunt and uncle and Rosita are debate, t talking and debating about um, uh, Rosita's um, future, whether she should uh, make a promise uh, to this nephew, this lover who's going to be leaving, or should they, they part and he goes his way and she can... Um, being young and beautiful and fashionable, um, just f find some someone else, and they're all talking about it. And the housekeeper is um, being very opinionated and um, uh, saying, you know, let let the guy go. Um, don't 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 make any promises. And uh, the aunt saying, uh, don't don't get involved. And the housekeeper saying, I'm not getting involved. I am involved. And uh, they, they make a promise. They're, they're going to, uh, even though um, he has to go very far away, they're going to maintain a long-distance relationship. That's, that's the plan. And th this play g gives such uh, a well-demonstrated uh, passage of time, the effect that a lot of time has gone by. Uh, one of the ways 
this is employed is uh, it's a three-act play and each at the beginning of each play uh, Rosita's uh, entrance onto the stage she is wearing um, the most fashionable clothing and, and the most uh, current style of uh, hair and makeup at the time and so and it'll be marked that this uh, is um, the current fashion of 1900 and uh, 1905 and uh, 1910 and so a long time is, is going by and uh, there's also um, these great parallels uh, the, the whole story is set uh, within this backdrop of a flower garden so the uncle uh, grows and maintains um, a fabulous array of all sorts of um, uh, unusual and exotic and interesting flowers and all these beautiful passages uh, naming all of the flowers and describing all of the flowers and um, there's a certain flower in particular it's this um, very special kind of rose that um, blooms only once and it, it's this refrain that goes throughout the play um, it changes throughout the day it'll be bright blood red in the morning it fades to white in the mi middle of the day and then by by nighttime it withers and wilts and all of the petals fall and it only happens once and um, there's an expectation that this is coming up and the, the uncle has talked about how um, um, this ephemeral moment this just very special singular um, moment only happens once in the lifetime of this flower and he's going to be there and he's going to spend time um, with this flower for that um, for that instance the the day that this flower um, has its very special full bloom and throughout the course of the play uh, he misses it he misses the opportunity he doesn't get to see its full flowering the second act uh, the nephew is now um, in Argentina ac across across the ocean we have uh, Rosita eagerly uh, waiting for the postman to get um, uh, letters from her her lover and um, we get a sense that they, they have a, a, a letter correspondence that they are keeping we have other characters that are coming into the house um, these other spinsters so un, unmarried women and um, there's all sorts of discussion about um, Rosita's future and um, cautionary tales um, and as, as the time is going on we still get uh, this domestic drama of uh, the aunt and uncle and housekeeper and um, there's another moment where they, they are um, they're they're bickering because um, <laughs> the nephew had sent this uh, letter promising uh, to marry Rosita he says we're going to get married by proxy and there's a moment of um, excite, uh, excitement and happiness. Uh, but the housekeeper chimes in and goes, what, what, what's his business about a proxy? And it comes up that there's going to be a, uh, there's this idea that there's going to be a wedding and there's going to be a stand-in groom and they're going to go through all of the motions of having the wedding even though um, uh, the husband, the potential husband, isn't there, and uh, the housekeeper doesn't want to hear anything about it, and just says, "Well, what happens at the end of the night? <laughs> What's going on with the honeymoon?" And uh, the the housekeeper and the the aunt get into this uh, shouting match. Um, the housekeeper is shouting, and they get into this really heart heated argument, and. Um, the aunt throws her out of the house says you know you, you, you're, you're dismissed you, you can leave the house and now they're, they're weeping uh, the housekeeper's going for the door she drops this little 
gift, uh, a special, a special gift for uh, Rosita's uh, Saint's Day, and then there's um, an equally emotional reconcili reconciliation where now they're they're hugging each other, they love each other. And you just go through this whole whirlwind of emotions of these two women, and the, the uncle comes in, and uh, it's just very clear that this is um, a habitual uh, occurrence in this household. That th this is um, the, the the relationship of two people that really care about each other, and just uh, bicker and carry on and make up and are even stronger for it and all of that. Um, and the the third act of the play, um, I, 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 I suppose I won't spoil the details, um, but um, f for as beautiful and as lighthearted and um, as sentimental and uh, humorous that th th this play um, is and can be and can offer, it's also a tragedy. Um, th this is the, the lost love, um, the the um, the bloom that was missed of uh, the life of Rosita. Um, at the beginning of the play, she was a very young uh, girl. Now, um, a lot of time has passed, and um, those promises were not kept. And this lover uh, was a was a liar. Um, and um, she now has to go on with her life. Uh, we, we also get, uh, aside from the, the romance, uh, the love story, the doomed love story throughout this play, we also get um, um, we, we also get the story of this household. A long time has passed in this household. By the third act, the uncle has passed away, and he had a lively business with these with these flowers, and that that was how he spent his time and was able to make a living. But um, he was careless with his money; did not um, make smart decisions of uh, the long term future of the household. He has passed away now. The aunt is um, alone. It's just her and the housekeeper, who's also just older. They can't keep the house. Um, they're worried about their social standing, and um, they they, they want to move um, in the dark of night and not not have the the, the neighbors um, see their downfall. Uh, we have the sadness between these two characters, the, the aunt and um, the, the housekeeper, when they're, they're both just so downtrodden. Uh, the aunt has said, I, I, I can't even afford to pay you, and the housekeeper saying, well, why don't we bicker? Why don't, why don't we argue? We can shout at each other. And the aunt saying, I'm just, t I'm tired. I, 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 miss my, I miss my husband. I wish, I wish he was here. Um, and Rosita, at the end of the play, um, being being alone. So it was beautiful, a beautiful play. The first play that I had read by Lorca, I, I've read a few of his uh, Galician poems that were uh, written in Galician. Uh, the play that I read, um, and the four plays in this collection are translated from the Spanish by John Edmonds. And um, I'm really looking forward to reading the other um, plays in this collection. I have Blood Wedding, Yerma, and the House of Bernardo Alba. Uh, from what I understand, these are his four last plays. Um, I'm also looking forward to reading uh, the poetry of Lorca. So a lot of great um, reading ahead of me. Um, uh, this is the, my, my introduction of um, uh, a long major piece by this writer, and it was... Um, beautiful uh, and f full of so many genuine emotions. There, there were uh, romantic and sentimental um, 
moments, really humorous parts, biting, angry parts. I did bookmark one. Let me see if I can find it. Um, so that the housekeeper um, and the aunt are just so angry with this nephew, uh, Rosita's lover and his betrayal, and they're just fantasizing about what they want to do to this guy. And uh, I'll, I'll read. Let me see if I can find it. Um, the aunt vehemently when I think of the wrong that's been done uh, to her, the terrible deception that was kept up, and the lying heart of that man who is no part of my family and is not worthy to be part of my family, I wish I were twenty still so I could get on a ship and go there and take a horse whip. So that's the aunt being vehement. Now here's the housekeeper interrupting her and cut off his head with a sword and smash it between two stones and cut off his hand that signed fi uh, false oaths and wrote love letters full of filthy lies. So she's adding uh, to go in there with a horse whip. We're also going to cut off his head and cut off his hand. It was intense. Um, it, w it was uh, a, a doomed romance um, and a really close, intimate family drama. The, the domestic aspects of this play, I, I found um, um, just so genuine. Uh, there was an authenticity. There's so many um, inter-family moments that um, still just ring, ring true. So uh, that's what I'll say. It was uh, Donna Rosita, The Spinster by Federico Garcia Lorca, and I loved it. So let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you've read other uh, plays by Lorca or his poetry, anything, anything that you care to share. Uh, please leave a comment if you would like. And thank you for watching and take care.